All right, we're live. Yay. Let me see how this is all. I want to make sure that it's all on. Awesome, awesome. We're all on. Wonderful. Let me know if you can hear me, you guys. I think you should be able to hear me. Uh, say hello. Okay, I'm good. Okay, you guys, I am. Woohoo! I see Rochelle, Lynn, Karen, Jennifer, Kelly. Hey guys! Hey everybody! Oh my gosh, this is fantastic! It's good to see you all. Annika from Chicago. First time painting with me. Fantastic! Welcome, welcome. I have seen the Torres. Hi, Luba. We're from Rockport, uh, Rockport, Texas. Welcome, welcome. Unbelievable. Hi, everybody. So good to see you all here. So, uh, yes, I am Luba Carlson, as you probably figured out, and I'm going to be teaching the painting tonight. So, okay. <laughs> okay, I see people telling me that that's their first time painting, and I have somebody from North Pole. Oh my goodness, that's far away. I have Chrissy from Austin. Hey, neighbor. I have uh, Michelle from New York. I have Ruth from Puerto Rico. Oh my goodness, we're like everywhere. I have Annika, eight-year-old. Uh... Nevada, Mexico, Alaska. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is absolutely incredible. Well, welcome, welcome everybody. I hope you are guys start ready to start. I am surely, I sure am ready to start. So um Before we do this, hold on, I'm trying to find my event again. I'm trying to find this event on my other tab so that I can pick the first winner, the people who commented when I said, um, I asked people to, to comment and say I if they're coming. So I, I want to see these people. Oops, sorry. I just pushed the wrong button. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What is going on? Oh, no. Hold on. I think I turned off the... Oh. Could I? Hold on. Let me go again. Sorry, you guys. Am I still seeing your comments? Yep, still seeing your comments. Okay, I'm sorry. I I thought I had done something. Hold on, hold on. Here is the say I. Oh my goodness, 71 comments. <laughs> this is wild. All right. Okay, Google. Pick up a random number between 0 and 71. Nine, nine, commenter number nine. Let's go back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Christy and Ze Zacharias? I think so. Hold on, I'm gonna copy and put this in the comment control. And I'm going to let you guys know. 
Oopsie, wrong thing. Oh my gosh. I know. I doesn't let me copy. Let's try again. Maybe this will work. Okay, hold on. Maybe this will work. Yes. Okay. This is our first winner. All right. Okay, you guys. So the prizes. So we're going to have, I'm going to have um, questions for trivia and all of that stuff. So the prizes today are um, free tickets to my paid events. Okay. You get a free ticket to paid event on uh, in January or February, your choice. I have two paid events on each February and January. So it's your choice what you would like to do. I need Christy and uh, send me a message and uh, hold on, let me grab a uh, notebook right here. I'm going to write it down. Okay. All right. Who's ready to paint? I am so ready to paint. Christy and... Zachar Rias. All right. Okay. So all my winners are getting free tickets to my paint events. Well, sorry, that was my chair. That sounded bad, didn't it? All right. Let me fix my whew, camera to make sure that we are where we need to be. So you should be seeing my. You should be seeing my painting right now. And I'm going to remove. Here, we're going to hide that. All right, let's paint. So um, a few words about myself real quick while we're getting all set up. Uh, I did not uh, paint until I turned 39 years old. So I, uh, I am a beginner in a way, <laughs> and I'm a self-taught artist. And so, um, when when I see, I saw quite a few people telling me in the event that they're a beginner. They don't know how this will go. Um, guys, we all start somewhere. Okay. So please do not worry, have fun, enjoy it. Um, and yeah, just have fun, follow steps and have fun. I'm trying to find my, my previous, the first one that you guys saw in the event. Okay, so here this is. This is what we're gonna paint. It's a winter scene. I'm gonna put it somewhere to the side where I can see it for reference real quick. Okay, so my canvas is pretty big. I think it's about 16 by 20, 20 by 16, whichever way you look at it. And yes, I am getting ready. So I'm gonna start. So guys, choose your... Um, um, Choose your paint brushes depending on what you need for your paper. So if I was painting like a 10 by 11 or 12 piece, I would probably start with the one inch brush. Since my piece is much bigger, like double the size pretty much, I'm going to start with this. This is a one inch. It's a chip brush. It's very really cheap, but it'll give me the bristles that I want to create, uh, texture that I want, okay? So I'm gonna grab my uh, brush, dip it in the water, and I'm just gonna run a little bit of water 
all over my canvas here, uh, my paper. The replay will be available for this. I know sometimes it's real hard to uh, follow so fast. Okay, so this is decently damp. This is why I'm doing this because paper is even worse than canvas. Canvas will soak up moisture out of your paint and your paint will not spread nicely, okay? So here's the next step. We are going to um, eyeball this and divide it into three parts, okay? So with my canvas here, I can put my hand on it one, two, three times, yeah? So the bottom, this uh, kind of layer, I guess, what's gonna be on the bottom, I'm just gonna leave it be. And then where my hand is in the middle, this is gonna be mostly, I'm gonna put lots of white on here, okay? So I'm just gonna, if you're using, um, uh, if you're using acrylics like craft paints, just squeeze it out on your paper plate and then put it on the brush. And if you're using paints like mine, like uh, the ones that you can squeeze out of the tube and they kind of hold, see, this is not leaking, then you can do what I'm doing. And if you're using, I'm trying to think, I had people, I had people ask, questions about that. Um, if you're just using a basic set, uh, squeeze white and then add, like put white on there. And then for magenta, you can add um, uh, a little bit of red. You won't get magenta per se, but you will get pink. Okay, so I'm just squeezing magenta right onto here. So you need pink, then you're gonna need sky blue. Where is this? This is cobalt blue. I want sky blue, you guys. Sorry, wrong print. Here, sky blue. Grab the wrong pouch. Not awful a lot, just a bit. Uh, I'm not sure, so is it Himar or Hema asking me, are you doing watercolor? This is not watercolor. This is acrylics. I do, oh my gosh, I'm sorry you guys, like, oh, Brian, yeah. who just having a fit. Sorry you guys, my cat is having a, an accident. <laughs> okay. So yes, I do paint with watercolor but this is not watercolor, okay? And this is phalo, phalo blue, just very dark blue, kind of colder blue that goes on top. Let me turn this up a little bit so you can see my, so you can see the top of my painting better. Okay. So I'm just getting my brush, little bit of water, not much. And um, put a little bit of water on my brush and then I wipe it down on my paper towel. And now I'm gonna start spreading my white. So I want my white to go everywhere like starting with this half of the page the second third of the page. This is where I want it, okay? Just spread it nicely. Okay, now use wide strokes from side to side. And if you're working on a bigger canvas like mine, you want to uh, use your motion from the shoulder 
not your wrist, not like this, but like this, the whole shoulder, okay? My paper got wrinkled because I added water to it. Um, Jackie asked me, why is your paper so wrinkled? It's because it's wet because I put water on it. It will dry and it will look much nicer. I do paint in my, so now I'm incorporating my magenta. I paint in my um, pads a lot. So here's my magenta. And when I'm done with my magenta, I'm gonna wipe the brush off on the paper towel. Just clean it the best I can. I do not wanna add more water to it. This is already plenty wet. And now I'm gonna go into the sky blue. Just like that. Take the excess off. You're welcome, <laughs> Jackie. You're welcome. <laughs> And the top one now, the paler blue, the darker blue. That's my next one. Whoops, would help if I didn't hit the camera. Okay, there's something I forgot to do. So since this is paper, kind of the brush pulls on it. So I usually put the put my binder clips on on the pad before I start painting, and then it holds it in place for me, so it doesn't. And I bet you if you were using, if you're painting on wood or like canvas, canvas, like, you wouldn't have this problem, right? <laughs> Used too much paint. Uh-oh. Well, if it's too much paint, you can always try and wipe it off with a damp paper towel or let it dry and see what happens. I would just, uh, if I had too much paint, I would just wipe it down on the paper towel and then use the same brush and try and work this in. Okay, a little bit of water on this brush, just a little bit, just on the tips. And this is gonna help me incorporate the colors better so that I do not have any paper or canvas, whatever you use, showing through. Okay, rinse out my brush. I'm gonna need a lot of paper towels today, I have a feeling. Rinse out, dry it on the paper towel. And I'm gonna use this brush and I'm gonna go from white and up white and I'm gonna oh okay see so it's making different kind of does a blend you can use whatever you like Marsha is asking me can we use a square canvas you can use whatever whatever your heart desires 
this is a very creative kind of thing here, okay? You do not have to divide your, your piece into as many parts as I did. You can do your own thing. See, like I'm just... So the idea right now is to blend, not to blend, well, kind of, yes, it's kind of blend. It's like blending makeup so that your lines between your different colors are not so harsh. Let me know if this makes sense. Hope it does. Okay. I think I'm going to stop here. Although I like to add a little bit more of a, I'm going to blend this out a little bit more into, into the blue without putting blue into my magenta. So I'm kind of cleaning my brush every time I go up. So every time there is blue in my brush, I clean it. Easy is asking, paper's going to rip if it's so wet. This paper is not going to rip. It's um, it's mixed media paper. It's going to be fine. It's going to be good. Of course, if you're using, um, if you are using like printer paper, then um, I would be very careful with that. But yeah, I don't think I had printer paper as suggested materials. So I hope nobody has printer paper for that. Okay, you guys. So our next step is we need this to dry. So if you guys have hair blowers, start blowing air. <laughs> Keep them on low. And I am going to do mine. And while I'm doing this, hey, Alice. Oh my gosh, Alice, so good to see you here. Oh, I'm so excited to have you. Okay, here I am. I'm going to... So this means that I'm going to mute my microphone while I'm using the blow dryer, okay?
Okay. Hey, Shelly. Welcome, welcome. I'm glad you could join us. And Michelle, this is incredible. How is your middle name, Luba? Do you have like European background? That's incredible. Uh, yeah, Diane says, my, gabby, my hubby got me a heat gun. It really dries fast. Just have to keep moving to not burn the paper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you know acrylics and heat gun they kind of don't mix so um yeah you do kind of have to move fast this will be fine trust me okay i always paint on this paper and it always turns out great it just needs time to um to reset it will be fine so if anybody's worried about my paper going wrinkly please do not worry about that all right so your next step would be black, would be using black. Let me find my, my black paint. Oh my gosh, I do have it here. Where is it? Here, okay. So you're just gonna put it on your, um, I don't know what you're using, paper plate, palette, whatever you're using. Just put some on there. And then we're gonna use just a regular brush, whatever your size. And let me show you what we're gonna do. This is gonna look like a heartbeat line. Very, um, Michelle says her parents for, oh my gosh, I am from Ukraine. That is so cool. That is, wow. Okay, so we're gonna paint and it's gonna be like a heartbeat line, very tight, okay? very tight but once in a while you're gonna go up and where you're going up this is where your trees are gonna be so the highest points are gonna put your trees in uh like the the pine trees or whatever they're called okay so maybe um uh, you know, consider also consider the size of this and think like how many trees do you want to put and how big? Probably about the third of the canvas, okay? Not bigger than that because your cottage needs to have room to be somewhere. And if we put huge trees in, we're not going to have uh, enough room for the... Whoopsie! Huma... Ah! Hima, right? Thank you for reminding me about that. I totally forgot. I thought I did, and I and I totally forgot. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, a little bit of water on your brush. Then wipe it off on your paper towel. You do not want a lot of water. Get your black. And we're just going to go in the area where the magenta or pink meets the white. So like there. That's my first tree. And I'm just going to keep going, keep going. That's my second tree. I do not want a lot of trees, but I want some. So I'll go back, keep going. And we want like, those are going to be like trees in the background. So... You're going to do that. Go, go, go. Some more. And there we go. Okay. So I'm just going to make sure that my black looks black. I'm going to do another coat. Just like this. So I had this whole spiel prepared about how I was going to tell you guys about who I am and where I live and what I, you know, kind of introduce myself. And, and then I started seeing notifications from this I don't even know who they are and they're telling like people to go follow a different link to 
to join. I don't know. So I was kind of stressed about that. And I don't know what happened with that. I probably I'll, I'll go look after after we're done. But I was like, seriously, people, come on. So anyway, also, you guys, obviously, this is a free event, right? And um, uh, I had a couple of people commenting on my post and saying that, oh, you know, um, I can't make this with somebody buy my ticket. And I have to tell you guys, it's it's like it's a very popular scam here on Facebook. So if um, if you see something like this, never, never, ever purchase from these people. Always purchase from the event organizer. Okay, Hannah, I hope I'm saying your name right. Sorry, I missed the beginning. Is this canvas or paper? I am using mixed media paper. You can use whatever you like. You can paint on canvas. You can do, you can paint on wood, whatever. Whatever rocks your boat, okay? Also, replay will be available, so please do not worry that. I'm gonna make my stripe a little bit wider to just allow for a little bit more like forest kind of thing. Because I think, yeah, something like that. Do not be afraid to play with your paints. Don't be afraid. Just make the mark. Go with it. You know, Bob Ross, happy accidents. Happy accidents. It's all good. Oh, and then you're welcome. You're very, very welcome. Okay, so I did mention in the beginning that I um, I am not a professional trained artist. I didn't go to school for art. I didn't do like anything special for art. I just started painting. And then at some point, I, I am, I'm also a teacher by trade. I realized that I really, really enjoy teaching others. And so I kind of started doing this. And uh, so the same thing, asking to sign in and purchase tickets, it's a scam. Yeah. Guys, please do not. <laughs> please don't. <laughs> I also had a comment from somebody and they uh, the comment said, I'm not comfortable giving you uh, my credit card information. And I was like, I did not ask for your credit card information. So yeah, just keep your eyes open, right? Keep your eyes peeled. It's all, yeah, it's all that, kind of. All right. So we have kind of trees, right? Those are going to be trees in the background. So I'm going to turn. Sure, yeah, Hima, that's my pleasure. I have so much fun doing this. I am going to, let me see, ba -ba -bam. where's my blow dryer thing? Here it is. Okay show and um you And this time I'll remember to hide this. <laughs> See, I'm getting better. Where do I get these types of paper from? Uh, from my, I guess, I guess, I guess, hold on. Hobby Lobby, I get this from. You can get them from anywhere, I think. Amazon has them. Okay. I'm going to use the same brush but i'm gonna add a little bit of white or a lot of white let's do yeah let's put some white on the paper plates or whatever you guys are using 
So this is what I've got. Like a good big marshmallow size of white. <laughs> so I'm going to just dip my brush in the black like this. And I'm going to mix this into a bunch of white. Not all of this white, but like bunch, 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 quite a bunch. And then I'm kind of going um, uh, like applying some pressure on my brush like this and pulling it back. I'm creating like a chisel kind of tip. Does that make sense? Okay. And now look. Let me see. Can I? Yeah. I'm going to move my camera up closer even to the painting so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to paint my first, we're going to do the first tree, okay, like this one. So here's what I'm doing. I'm going once this way, okay, and then I take some space down and I'm going to go across. So right now it looks like a cross. And then I'm gonna add two more. And then I'm gonna add three. And then I'm just gonna start adding. Like that. It doesn't matter. Um, What exactly this looks like at this point? It's all good. Okay, and just stop it there at this. Okay, I'm gonna move on to my other tree. So um, <clears throat> I do want everybody to get uh, creative with this. So I'm just gonna show you how I'm painting the trees, but. If you want to have one tree, go for it. If you want to have five trees, go for it. Uh, Jackie says, Michaels has a huge inventory of art supplies. I buy from them a lot. Yeah, totally. Michaels should pay us for free advertising. <laughs> Can you see what I'm doing? No, you cannot because I kind of turned it around here the same way. So this one's going to be a rather white Christmas. Ugh, they're not Christmas trees. They're pine trees, but you know what I mean? I appreciate your understanding. And I promised you a trivia game, and I got so busy painting that I completely forgot about that. Let's get our first question, shall we? Googling is allowed, because there is no way I can control you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's go and let's say, <sighs> let's say the first person who puts in the correct answer, okay? So this is trivia. I'm going to ask a question and the first person who responds correctly will get free access to one of my paid uh, paint parties in January or February, your choice. Okay. Let me see. Hmm. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, ready? How did Harrison Ford get the distinctive scar on his chin? How did Harrison Ford get a distinctive scar on his chin? And uh, the first person to give me the right answer gets the, uh, no, no, <laughs> and no. 
car accident, you land a humber, you, oops, hold on, I can't catch you, Yolanda, here, Yolanda Humber Dixon, Yolanda Humber Dixon, car accident, good job, you, make sure to PM me. <laughs> it's Jen on the toilet. It's a telephone fall. Oh my gosh, you're hilarious. <laughs> oh my gosh. Only... <laughs> okay. Uh, Yolanda, make sure to send me a PM and I will make sure that you get that ticket. Okay. Let's see. Where are we at? We're at trees. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do this one in the kind of middle. I'm gonna bring this up up front. Just doing the same thing. Just use your brush and go dab, 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 dab. So right now, we're just making the base for your trees. And I probably would bring this up a little bit higher eventually, but yeah. Okay, I'm gonna rinse out my white brush. Yolanda, you're very welcome. You are so very welcome. Okay, moving on, moving on. So clean out your brush if you had white on it or this kind of gray mix that we had. And maybe get a round brush. If you have a round brush, get a round brush. If not, maybe um, use a smaller brush and bring it to the chisel point. I'm gonna use my round brush and I'm gonna get some black and I'm gonna add some branches to the trees that are over here in the background. So how you do this is you start at the bottom of the tree and you kind of go up and then you stop at some point. You do not want them to yeah, something like this. And if your paint is more like a yogurt consistency, you might wanna add some water to it so it becomes more like melted ice cream. I hope this makes sense. I'll have more questions if you are like, don't get upset or like thinking that you're not gonna have a chance. There's going to be more questions. So I'm just kind of going <laughs> to, I'm going to change my brush because this brush is not doing what I want it to do. So I'm just going to grab a smaller brush right now. Also a round brush, but just something that will work a little bit better for me. It's okay to change your tools and, you know, I honestly believe that things, uh, that when you try to make something, 90% of your success is your tools. They are much better. See, different brush and much better. Okay, let's fix that one. So I kind of like this one. That's a kind of crazy tree, but I like it. So I'm gonna add maybe here, yeah, big one there. And now uh, going from the trunk, you can add branches to it. A branch and a branch. And another one. Mm 
And another, and another. That's a that's an awesome tree, isn't it? <laughs> How are your trees going? What color are the branches? All black. All black. So far, we're going with all black. Don't want anything else right now. Okay, so I'm going to add some branches to my tree over here on the right-hand side. And I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger, kind of. Um, so it's not just a stump, <laughs> right? There. It's kind of... Bring this up and down. Just like that. Sounds like my boys are playing Romiku. Excuse me, here. Okay, that's my second tree. I think I'm gonna stop right now. I might always, we can always add another one on the left hand side. Not sure right now. I'm just going to leave it like this. I'm going to think. We're going to see what happens. Okay. Are you ready? Okay, hot fingers. <laughs> ready? <laughs> Let me find... Hmm. Oh, okay, ready? Hot fingers. What do they call a quarter pounder with cheese in Paris, according, according to Vincent Vega? What do they call a quarter pounder with cheese in Paris, according to Vincent Vega? The first, the first one gets Gets the chi, gets the, um, uh, <laughs> Mary, this is fun, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I am having fun, I hope you're too. All right. Almost, almost, the first one, almost. Royale with cheese, yes, got it. Victoria, Victoria Leon, Victoria Leon. Victoria, Leanne. I'm writing down your name so that I don't have to. <laughs> okay, you guys. So let's do next thing. The next thing, we're going back to that gray mixture. Remember we had some gray on the, on the um, palettes or paper plates. We're going to create a little bit of a, oh, let's say, snow landscape. Yeah, so I'm going to add a hill coming from here down here. And this is just my outline. Doesn't just adding a hill and kind of putting some gray on that. Just a little, not much. Okay, maybe add some more white to this gray. Okay, and then I'm going to go from here, from the left-hand side, and I'm going to create another one. And then I'm just going to paint with whatever paint I have on my brush. Oh no, Michelle. 
Oh. Okay. So this looks messy, and that's okay. We're just creating the base. And then here, I'm just going to kind of do that. So I'm just going to use this kind of grayish white. And I'm just going to put this in. This doesn't matter right now, really. Like, it's not, imp it's important to have these uh, lines kind of to know where things are. But if things are showing through them, it's okay. Don't worry about that. Okay. Rinse out the brush. Oh my gosh. Okay. Michelle, you just said something about your tablet changing things. And I'm like, I just looked at my phone, my camera phone, of course. And I realized that I forgot to plug it in. Alice, if you're here. <laughs> So Alice had been watching my lives for quite a while now, and she knows I always forget to plug my phone in. Okay. Yes, and once I lost my life because my phone died. <laughs> oh, no. Can't see what I'm doing. Here. Got excited and forgot to check where the camera is facing. So... Here's what I did. I did from my right hand side, I did a little hill with gray and kind of messy covered it with paint. Not no globs, blobs of paint, just a little bit. Let's <laughs> yes, you're here. Awesome. <laughs> yes, I did. Just plugged it in. And then we go on the left hand side and I did another little hill here to just create some volume, right? And then I paint it in between. So our next step is going to be painting the cottage. And while we're painting the cottage, our trees are going to dry. And uh, this way we can just move on to the things. All right, painting the cottage. Okay, I hope I told you guys that we're going to need brown. Because if I did, I apologize. If I didn't, I apologize. Burn sienna. This is what I'm going to use. Burn sienna. It's like light, br light brown. Uh, Ilya, you're so welcome. Guys, if you can't see something or like there's obviously some adjustment on my side that I need to do, let me know because, yeah, I'm running two cameras. Uh, you can't see the other one because I'm doing like full screen uh, painting right now. But, yeah, I'm running two devices. I'm painting and all of that stuff, all of that good stuff. New Brunswick, Canada. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Canada's here. Are you snowed in, Canada? Jean, are you snowed in? <laughs> That's incredible. All right, so I'm using the same brush and um, I rinsed it out. Yeah, clean it on my paper towel. And then I'm gonna use my fingers to bring it to the chisel. I want it real sharp. And I'm going to put some sienna brown, sienna, burn sienna, just brown on it. And I'm going to use my brush and I'm going to sketch the first wall of the cottage. Okay. Now I'm thinking that those trees in the background, my cottage cannot be larger than those trees, right? So we kind of need to remember that. Okay, so my walls are going to go down here. See how I'm doing this? Just dab, dab, dabbing and stop. 
and then my square. Stop, and then go up. Stop. Maybe go up a little bit higher. Just there. So this is my first wall facing me. Same chisel, chisel sharp brush. Now we're gonna put a triangle on top of this. So how I do this is I kind of eyeball the middle, take it to somewhere where I want it to be like here. Can you see it? Here, brought you closer. So I ball the middle and then I go up higher. That's my dot. And then I connect my, my um, what am I trying to say here? The square kind of, yeah, like a rectangle to that. Doesn't have to be perfect, just connect. See, like my lines are all messy. Uh, I'm using burnt sienna. It's like a lighter brown. It's just the uh, color for your cottage walls and sides. So if Kelly, Kelly says some snow, but we need more so we can snowmobile. Oh, I am so, Michelle's from Ontario. I didn't even notice that. Welcome, welcome. So I, as I already announced kind of, <laughs> I was born in Ukraine. And I moved to the States when I was 29. So I'm, and um, I'm, I was born in December. So I'm definitely a snow baby. I love snow. And now uh, I live in Texas, right outside of Austin. The little town is called Pflugerville. <laughs> and oh my gosh, I miss snow so bad. I've been here for nine years in Texas. I think nine years in Texas. Okay, next step. We now need to create a little bit of um, perspective, okay? So we're gonna go at an angle. I think the cottage, my cottage is gonna be much bigger than in the original painting, but we'll do that. See, this is why we didn't wanna do a lot on the trees because um, we would have done all of this in the trees and look at that. Do we really need that? So we just kind of repeat. And then the roof doesn't have to follow exactly. It can go a little bit lower like that and like this. Mm -hmm. Brenda lived in Pflugerville. Are you serious? <laughs> okay, Holly says she loves snow and she was born two days before Christmas. Oh my gosh. Houston, we have Houston. Oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now we're gonna paint this whole little cottage that we painted. We're gonna just paint this whole thing brown. Completely. Just make it brown or burnt, uh, burnt sienna, whichever, whichever paints you're using. I need more. What did I do with it? There it is. So I'm putting more on my paper plate and I'm painting some more. And when I'm done, I'm going to ask another trivia question when I'm done painting this brown because this brown is going to need to dry and we have time to play. Whoops, sorry for... Uh, I kind of sort of kick the camera once in a while with my elbow <laughs> because I'm working around it. Thanks to the last and 
See, like my whole tree in the middle that I kind of started. It's most of it is going to be covered. Now I'm thinking I maybe should have set it over to the side more, but that's okay. Okay, question you guys. Oopsie. If something like this happens, you can always wipe it off because acrylics are dry. A uh, question that's not a trivia question. <laughs> Let me know who's painting uh, step by step with me and who is kind of grabbing ideas and making their own. It's not for judgment or anything. I'm just curious because obviously I cannot see 168 of you. <laughs> But this is amazing. I'm like, oh my gosh, technology nowadays, it blows my mind. I am painting with 169 people now. Whoa. Okay, uh, step by step, painting, step by step, step by step, painting, step by step, step by step. Okay, cool. I think it takes a little bit of experience, like you have to do a few step-by-steps before you feel comfortable to um, try and just, you know, paint your own. <laughs> well, that's going to be a mansion of a cottage that I'm painting here. I have no idea why I rinsed out my brush. Do not rinse your brush. We still need that brown. Or burn sienna in this case. So um, same chisel tip. Okay, let me see if I can. Yes, this is a good spot. So just the chisel, just on the tip. Paint goes just on the tip. We're gonna paint, start the fence real quick. Uh, Carolyn says, uh, mom, 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 had planned to paint step by step, only getting to watch as it, it turns out, would like to paint it at some time. Huh. Okay. <laughs> okay. So here we go. The, yeah. So just like this. We're going to make poles for the fence. So the poles that are closest to you, the fence poles, are going to be the tallest. And then the ones that move away, they're going to get shorter and shorter as they get. OK, this is a hill, remember? So we're going up the hill. Something like that. And I'm going to add a couple more. They do not have to be anything perfect, OK? Whoa. <laughs> Dripped on my own chair. All right. Okay, hot fingers, ready? I hope you're ready. Let me find another question for you. Ha ha ha. Ooh, that's a juicy one. Okay, ready? What former Saturday Night Live cast member was attacked with a stun gun by his assistant. What former Saturday Night Live cast member was attacked with a stun gun 
by his assistant. I see people painting. My daughter is standing and we're both loving it. Oh, I'm so glad, Carmen. That's so awesome. Not Bill Murray. Not Will Ferrell. No, no. <laughs> David Spade, and that would be Roxanne Osga. I hope I'm saying your name right. Roxanne. You're going to get a free access to one of my January or February paid events. Awesome sauce. Congratulations. Very cool. Very, very cool. Okay. Okay. This is so wet. And um, yeah, I feel like we need to move on with the cottage. So I'm going to use the blow dryer again. Okay. So I'm going to mute myself for a minute. And, uh, yeah, and I'm going to use it. Okay, hold on. Let me find my microphone. Okay. Okay, very good, very good. Um, let me see where I am. Okay, next step, we're gonna use, we're gonna use white and yeah, we're going to use white and we're going to use brush. I'm going to use one. So I have this one. It's kind of has this rounded tip over here. Oh, <laughs> about an hour in, I, um, about an hour in, I'm like, oh, so this is why I was telling you guys that I'm self taught and everything. So I'm putting white paint on my brush and I'm gonna put snow on the roof. So I'm just gonna do the outside on one side, the other side, just like this. And then the roof, just gonna kind of, and the top and then down okay so why i was telling you guys that i'm self-taught is because i do not use a, like the correct terms for things <laughs> so um yes so i'm using a rounded brush but could it does it have a name probably do i know it no not really <laughs> does it really matter that i don't know the name of the brush that i'm painting with I don't know. Okay. Yeah. 
All right, so leave the snow in. And I, I just kind of took my brush. I didn't even rinse it. I kind of wiped it on the paper towel and that's, that's it. Okay, yellow. I'm gonna grab, it's called yellow ochre. And I think this will be great. So we're gonna paint in the windows. Okay. The windows and and the doors. Okay, so grab some yellow. So first I'm gonna put a window up here on the in the attic, so to speak. Just yellow. Doesn't need don't do anything else, just put yellow on it. Then so somewhere here is gonna be a door. So I'm gonna put one window over here. On one side of the door, right here, and the other side of the door, I think my door is going to be rather skinny if I keep it that way. So um, I use BB wipes for this. I think BB wipes are best for this. I'm just going to see because the acrylics are dry, so you can totally do this. Just wipe it down. Make it what you need it. There, much better. Okay, and we have two windows, and you kind of have to follow that angle. Remember how we put the wall at the angle? So you kind of have to, at the same height as the other two windows, You just kind of have to add this one and two. A little bit more yellow in the windows. Okay. All right, now I'm going to add a little bit of orange. You're going to, I'm adding it to my paper plate, like less than the size of a pea, very little. And I'm going to use the same messy brush. Here, I'm going to grab some orange on the tips. And I'm going to add orange coming from the top of the window, just like that. Just like this. Okay. 
And while this is drying, I'm going to grab a different brush. I'm going to put a lot of white on it. White with that black mixture that's really light white, uh, light gray. Okay. And I'm going to paint my snow drifts in here so that see the house is snowed in I'm gonna grab a tiny tiny bit of blue of that um, uh, sky blue that we used for the sky and I'm gonna add again like just a just a drop I'm not gonna need much Florida here hi Gwen welcome 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 kind of back to business painting So here's what I'm doing, you guys. I kind of got distracted with my own brain. I'm using the tip of my paintbrush, and I'm taking a little bit of white. I mean, I'm taking a little bit of blue, and I'm adding it to the white. So my white is going to have a little, like, blue tint on it. Here. See the blue tint? And so then I'm going to use this and I'm going to add snow where it needs to be. Just, and it's okay if there is like, see, there's little streaks of blue. That's okay. I'm going to try and not paint over my fence, but yes, I'm adding maybe a little bit of water on the brush. It's all kind of dragging right now, so I'm going to add just a little bit more of snow texture to this Arizona how's winter in Arizona okay so again going back to me trying to tell you guys what I what I do right so yeah I teach paint parties <laughs> That's what I do. So I also, like, I have two pages right now. I have uh, Luba Carlson Artist page. This is where this event is taking place and where I'm teaching these parties. And I also have a page that's called Paint Along Mondays. And it's more uh, geared to, like, more simple paintings. Uh, I created it because in August, like we've been homeschooling forever, but in, in August I started um, teaching my kids art, art, the art class, and I, really, I thought, well, hey, I'm, I'm doing all of this, I'm getting ready, I have all the stuff, so why not um, invite other people? And so we first did Google Meets with that, and then we moved to a Facebook group, and uh, the Facebook group's been growing. And so then I thought, well, if I had a dedicated page, it would make it easier for people to join and find that. So I started this page just in time. We're starting spring semester in, uh, on January 11th. So it's not this, this Monday, it's the following Monday. And we're starting with watercolors. So let me see here. So I'm just adding snow as I'm blabbering my way around and telling you guys all my 
all my venues, right? <laughs> what I do. Paint Along Monday is also free. Um, I think that like right now, we're all in a situation where we probably should be helping each other more than anything else. So I hope this is helpful to other people. Okay. I wanted to add snow in before I would start going with other things like the, the bars for the, the poles and all of that stuff. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Next. Same brush. Same chisel tip. We're going to put snow on the window cells right underneath the windows. So don't try to make it like anything perfect right here. It's just a pile of snow, nothing else. Just add some snow to it. Yep. Okay, I hope this is dry. Yes, not very dry. I forgot that we had a window there. Deborah says very relaxing, thank you. Oh my gosh, yes, that's my that's the whole point. The whole point to relax and enjoy this. Okay, so if your snow up on the roof is not dry yet, maybe wait for it to dry. But I'm gonna try because otherwise I might forget completely. I don't think I have the right size of the brush. Hold on. Let's do it this way, because in my um, in the original painting, there is a window over there. I just want a, another, just want a smaller brush for this. And oh my gosh, I left my brush out. Please rinse out your brushes. I don't know who needs this reminder right now. Rinse out your brushes. Ima says, so much of stress reliever for me. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. You are very, very welcome. Oh, you know what? I was gonna, I was gonna put a click up for Paint Along Monday to show it so that if anybody would like to find it, it's right there. Okay, going for that window. Just like that. Yeah. Here. It's like it's the but that kind of window that kind of sticks out. And I totally forgot about it. So there, something like this, right? <laughs> You're probably looking at this thinking, what is she doing? And of course, we cannot forget about the chimney. We need to put the chimney in with the same brown. And the chimney will come out of the, oh, too much. Not chisel. That was not chisel. That was a blob of paint. Here, chisel. And the chimney will come up straight from here. Okay. 
Okay, that doesn't help that the paint didn't dry, but it will dry eventually and we'll be able to cover it up. Did I ever tell, no, I don't think I told you guys, this is why I really like painting with acrylics. It's because once it's dry, you can cover it up. <laughs> Matthew says, think I have to start over. Oh, no, 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 do not, don't. Don't start over. It's a winter landscape. You know what that means? It means that you can put snow anywhere and everywhere you like. So finish, finish what you are doing. Because like the last uh, few steps are going to be adding snow to elements. Like our trees are not done. We're not done. <laughs> Don't feel like you should be done. This is far from. I know, maybe you thought that you were almost done and thinking, woohoo, almost done. And here I am telling you not done. But, you know. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. I was going to... I was going to see. So all my, well, this is why I was telling you this. I was telling you this about Paint Along Monday because I wanted you to know that all the streams, like the free ones, I stream everything onto my YouTube channel. It's a very tiny YouTube channel, but it makes it easier to find things that I paint with people. And so all the free content from both pages goes into the YouTube channel. Okay, guys, yellow for this, just for the window. And just yellow. Okay, same messy brush. And I just pinned the comment you probably should see it. It's a pinned comment with a link to my uh, YouTube channel. Tell me if you can see that comment. I just want to, to give you guys all the information you need if you would like to paint with me again so you know where to find me again. Because I have no idea. How did you people find me at all? Like, <laughs> did it just pop up on your news feed? Because I'm, I am shocked honestly i am shocked so many people painting with me tonight and i'm flattered and i am feeling very humbled and blessed um but yeah how did you find me so i'm adding more of the burnt sienna to the chimney and to that window that sticks out see it Oh, not a good idea to use the camera stand for wiping my brush on it. <laughs> okay, I see people saying uh, Facebook suggested it to them. Thank you for telling me that you can see it. Perfect. Thank you. Just making sure that Facebook events. So cool. Huh. That's that's amazing. Uh, amazing. Okay, let's use that chisel brush again, the big one that I, I used. Yeah, we're going to put snow under the window over here and then a little bit on this kind of, what's it called, overhang, I guess, or something. So let's add some more snow. And this roof totally could use. My roof totally can use some more snow. It's kind of not as snowy as I would like it to be. So I'm just going to dab on a little bit more. And I'm going to put some in here. Huh. Okay. And next, I'm going to prep my black. Mm. 
and then we're going to work on the trees. Address, okay. Uh, Monday paint along. It's very easy. You go facebook.com slash paint along Monday. Paint along Monday. That's it. Facebook.com slash paint along Monday. Mm -hmm. Jackie says, you have come up on my news feed. Have enjoyed this so much. Thanks. Oh, you're so welcome. And some uh, Rosina says, I had my birthday paint night canceled, and I was so upset. And when I went on Facebook that night, you were on it. I swear Facebook stalks me. It stalks everybody. <laughs> Carmen searched free paint classes. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. I see. Huh. Just trying to figure out how this works, how this works. Okay. Um, so, black. Whoops. What happened? Let me see what happened. I don't know. Hold on, you guys. So, um, looks like I had internet connection. Loss <laughs> for a moment. And I, I, oh my gosh, it reconnected my, my volume. Hold on. I'm sorry for this. It just restarted my sound for some reason. I didn't ask it to restart anything. Okay, here we are. We're back. <laughs> Let's see. And back. Okay. So... But, oh my goodness, Rachel, are you serious? Rachel is watching from the UK. It's 2.30 a.m. here. Event popped up a suggested art lesson page that I might like. I shall have a go at this picture later on today. I do not blame you. It's kind of 2.30 in the morning. Wow. <laughs> uh, Victoria added a new group called Virtual Painting, and it was posted on there. Um, uh, Shabha, is that right? Am I saying your name right, Shabha? She's saying, can I watch this later, please? Absolutely, it will be, I'll save it as live. It will be saved in lives on um, uh, Luba Carlson artist page. So make sure you like and follow that page so you get all the updates on that. But yes, it will be saved and it's also being, um, uh, streamed to my YouTube channel, so you can also find it on YouTube, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put the window frames in uh, any way you like it. I think I grabbed the wrong brush. Of course I grabbed the wrong brush. What I want is my round brush that's easy to draw lines with. I don't want this right now. Here, round brush, you guys. <laughs> All right, water it down a little bit. My paints are starting to dry a little. Here's a trick for you all, just like a thing that I've learned recently, not too recently. Okay, so this is, this is a mister. This is a mist, mist, tiny mist. It's not a spray bottle. It makes a mist, okay? And what I learned was that um, artists do this to their paints with this so the paints do not dry out as they work on a bigger piece. So maybe this will help somebody. I picked it up at, again, Hobby Lobby, <laughs> I think. 
maybe Michael's somewhere, somewhere there. Shelly says, was looking for a paint lesson on Facebook and this showed up. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, so you see how I'm, I'm gonna hold, I'm holding my hand, kind of supporting my arm with my hand so that I can draw. And I'm really far from it, you know? I'm gonna move. <laughs> yeah, I need to get closer, but like all the snow is still wet, so I need to be very careful. So I'm, um, I'm gonna rest my pinky on the wall. And I'm just gonna draw. Just like that. Now, I kind of like my windows like this, but if you would like to, if you want to clean up lines, uh, wait for the yellow to dry. And then you can go over the lines with brown and kind of clean this up if you would like to. I really like it this way because it's like, it's very cool. I think that's how light shows. Okay, we're going to let that snow dry a little bit longer. I'm going to use this round brush and I'm going to put bars between the... Um, in between the fence poles, so I'm still going for this uh, burnt sienna, or like if you're using brown, use your brown. Tara says, wish we had a Hobby Lobby in Canada. Oh, I have no idea what you guys have in Canada, but I'm sure, I'm sure there are stores where you can get these things. Just maybe somewhere online. I mean, you do have Amazon, right? Maybe they would have on like, um, what's it called for real? It's called Ultra Fine Mist Sprayer. Okay, so I'm gonna add one over here. Doesn't have to be like super straight or anything. Okay, it's rustic. One over here. And I'm gonna say that this is good. Okay. And then as I'm moving up, we're kinda gonna get smaller and closer to each other. One here. There. And here. So make them um, not as thick, yeah, as you move away, because things that are away, <coughs> excuse me, things that are away usually look smaller. Okay, so that's the fence. And going the other way. And going the other way. Ocean State job lot is in Northeast, okay. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I don't know if I'm sneezing because I'm just sneezing or if I'm sneezing because there is cedar. I have no idea. All right, so this goes up like that. All right. Okay, let's do another question. 
I'm not ready for it though, so I need to find it yet. Hold on. And this will let you this will allow you time to catch up. Uh, Da, 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 da. Ooh. Hold on. Okay, ready? Okay, hot fingers. <laughs> Who are Inky, Pinky, Blinky, and Clyde? Who are Inky, Pinky, Blinky, and Clyde? <laughs> Thank you, Shirley. <laughs> oh. Pac-Man, Matthew, you're awesome. You got it. Okay. <laughs> First hit. Amazing. Matthew. Larisha? Not sure how to say your name, but got it. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. You guys all know this stuff. <laughs> okay, Matthew, you got a, you got a ticket. Got yourself a ticket. Okay. Let's put some more snow on those trees now that we know where the trees are and what we're doing, right? Smaller brush, same white, and a little bit of blue. Just a little bit to give it a little bit of color. Not too much, just a tint. And uh, I'm going to just mess some more because my, my whole paint is drying out. So normally I would just use, I would grab another plate, grab another plate and put more paint on it. But I think this will work. <laughs> we don't have clothes. <gasps> okay. So, white on the paintbrush. And I'm just going to go up in my tree. And uh, fill it in. If you watch Bob Ross... That's kind of his thing. Okay, gonna bring this all the way down. This is why we did this, like not the full way. And I'm thinking that I've picked the wrong brush for my size of canvas, so I'm gonna have to go back. But I'm gonna, so there is that, and the, this tree doesn't have much, so I'm just going to make it taller a little bit and take it all the way out here. Okay. And uh, this other tree. Same way. Careful around that fence because I already painted the fence in. Which is fine. Okay.
Uh, what colors? This is white with a little bit of blue. And you say move the camera up a hair. Got it. Thank you, Carmen. Really appreciate this. So I think in the event, in the description, or not description, in the supply list, I think I mentioned the uh, fan brush. I said, uh, if you have a fan brush, would be great to have it, to, to use it. So if you do have it, use it. If you don't have it, just use what you have. I'm just loading it with white again and a touch of black. Yeah, just kind of, uh, where are you guys? Oh, here. So this is off-white, it's not, yeah, okay. So see, like this wider brush does better for my size, What for what I'm painting. Okay, again, my winners, make, make, make sure to send me a message and tell me, I do not have my February events up though, yet, but I will soon, if you would like. Okay, and then I'm just going to put, see, this is an experiment, I got to tell you. I'm kind of going with the flow. I just put a little bit of blue on this, on this brush, and I'm going to grab some pieces here and there. And I'm just going to put a little bit of blue on the trees just to add some color to them because white just white kind of makes them a little bit too flat do you think so i think a little bit of blue does it right sure thing my pleasure Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit less. Okay. Now that we see our proportions, so to speak, like the size of the house and everything else. Now I know what I'm going to do with those two. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of black on the small flat brush. And uh, I'm just going to make them into these kind of trees that are sitting in the back. Doing the same thing we did before. But since these trees are in the back, they can just be black. And of course you can change change it to any way you like. You can add branches to it to make it a different kind of a tree. Yeah. But I think that's what I'm gonna do with this. 
because it's kind of <laughs> you know what I keep keep thinking about spooky old tree who knows where that's from spooky old tree <laughs> Okay, we're getting there. We are totally getting there. Okay, grab your flat brush that you used for putting snow under those windows and fill the tip with some yellow and a little bit of orange. So like both colors on the same brush. Don't blend it, see? Both colors in. And we're just gonna lightly, very lightly, touch up the snow, very lightly. Right underneath the windows because the snow catches all the lights, right? So, and right up here, it's still very, very light. Just touch, just a touch, gentle, gentle, very gentle touch. And I'm going to use the same kind of, the same brush. I'm just going to add the, uh, for my chimney, just a little bit of a, so it looks more like a, you know, thing out of volume kind of thing. I don't know. <laughs> so it doesn't look flat. I guess that's what I'm trying to tell you. Um, Alice says, looks like pine trees in the Texas hill country. Yes. Yes. I still have to go see them in person, but I've seen them on pictures, and they are gorgeous trees. Gorgeous, gorgeous trees. Okay, I need to do this because, um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to put another banner on for you just for a second. Do I have it though? Yes, here. <laughs> we're not allowed to say certain things out loud. Well, not that we're not allowed. It's not recommended. So I'm putting this up here and just a kind reminder. And <laughs> do not forget to um, uh, to follow. Follow... Um, Lubo Carlson artist page for more events and lives and all of that stuff. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Flat brush, white paint goes on our uh, on those. What do you call them? Bars, wood. In between the poles doesn't have to be anything crazy yeah just random just random just think where would where would snow land the thing with this is though that like the snow would land somewhere right but then and this is, uh, I think Matthew told me that he was ready to start over. This is the moment of truth. You can add snow to things to make them look better if you, if you would like to. Um, yes, so the snow 
lands wherever it wants to. <laughs> but then the wind blows and the wind takes it over. So I'm putting like a little bit of like a snow cap on top of the um on top of these poles. Okay. Now we're gonna get that round brush again. <gasps> Michelle's <laughs> I keep thinking about, oh, I, next I need to do the door. Next I need to do the door and I get distracted again and I forget. <laughs> Who needs a door? You have one, two, three, four, five, six windows, right? Who needs a door? <laughs> Sprinkle. So, yeah, I'm just... <laughs> okay, guys, round brush small round brush the one that I used for my trees and I'm getting black on it so we're gonna use black and we're gonna paint that door good call Michelle good call thank you so much <laughs> okay the door whoopsie the door goes right in between the windows All the way down and across. That's the door. <laughs> we're going to let it dry, then we're going to put some snow around it so it doesn't look like it's just showed up out of nowhere. <laughs> Shirley says, everyone knows. Really? Okay. Well, all right then, guys. Sprinkle. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> Diane goes, my husband just asked where the door is. Yep. Yep. That's painting with Luba for you guys. <laughs> Not so bad, right? <laughs> Okay, let's put some snow. So we're going to get white. And um, I like to use my round brush for this because I have more control with it. We're going to put snow on the, um, not the evergreen trees, the other trees. What do you call them if they're not evergreen? Like four season trees? <laughs> what do you even call them? There's definitely a, a word for it. Uh, it doesn't help that English is not my first language. Oh well. <laughs> okay, so this is filled up thick, very thick. And Alice says, could be on the other side. That's right. The door could be on the other side. Totally could be. Okay, so I first, I'm going to put snow in between the branches. So this is where the snow usually would accumulate. Again, no rhyme or reason, right? Just, just put it in. Especially in places like that. This is where snow likes to gather <laughs> and my other tree let me see if i can move it closer to my other tree there we go and another tree there we go Okay, and now I'm grabbing white and I'm just going to put it on branches that are more of a like horizontal that, you know, it makes sense that it landed there. It makes sense for the snow uh, to land on the other side, yeah, of some branches. But like this, this totally makes sense. Just, just accumulated in some 
There. Deciduous trees, Diane. Thank you. Lynn Carey says hardwood trees. Maybe, but they're not all hardwood, are they? I don't know. We're almost done, you guys. I know, I know. Two hours mark. Almost there. Almost there. Okay. Flat brush for the snow to go above the door. Just the same way we did this. And then I'm just going to paint a little bit more white. So I'm using white and I didn't move my camera. I'm sorry. Here we go. So I put white above the door. And now I'm just using white and I'm adding like white highlights to my snow. There is a lot of colors in the snow and I just adore it. I love it. I'm gonna put some here and there. Okay. Those trees in the back are going to stay. I'm trying to remember what else did I want. Oh, yes, the smoke. <laughs> the smoke that comes out of the chimney. And this is how you do this. You take a round brush with a lot of water and you create a wash out of your white. So white wash. It's very, very, very watery. There isn't much paint in it. Okay, very watery. And I'm just going to grab my brush. And I'm going to start out at the chimney. And just going to go up. All the way up. Maybe make it a little bit. Yeah. Something like this. Have the smoke. Oh my gosh, Sarah, really? <laughs> she says if you have a dog, add some yellow snow. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> I do have a dog though, and I do know what you mean. <laughs> Okay, so last step, last one. Well, two steps actually, but that's the last big step. I uh, let me see what do I, I think I'm gonna use. Yeah, so I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna go back into my plate. So I have some white left over. See? And I have some wash, so I'm going to mix all of that. And maybe more water, because I want this a little bit loose and more white. I'm going to create snow, and I hope this is going to work with this brush. Because I usually use a different one, but I left it somewhere. So I'm going to use this one. And so I'm going to aim it to the sky and I'm going to use my finger to kind of ruffle the bristles okay and that's gonna leave yep just maybe closer to your paper and maybe refill paint 
paint uh, toothbrushes make this excellent way so I just want this you can make it like, like you can call it snow and then you can make it all over your painting just add this the snow or you can just leave it in the blue part of your sky and it becomes this kind of starry night so I'm just gonna add here and there okay Tammy says, thanks, it was fun. Rosina says, I'm totally doing this. <laughs> yeah. Gwen says, door. Yep, the door is right there. We painted it, it's right there. Okay. Let me wipe off my messy fingers after doing snow. Uh, be careful with that as you splatter, because sometimes splatters go places that we do not want them to go to. Yep. <laughs> Rosina says, I learned the other day about flicking the brush. Game changer. Yep. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Last, the last, last step, which is very, very important, you guys. Never forget never ever forget get a small round brush put some paint on it your choice and sign your painting <laughs> do not forget to sign your painting all right okay so my five winners please get in touch with me uh, if you guys are here, hold on. The people that are here, hold on. I'm going to show you real quick what we are painting. So we're painting the snow at the end of January. That's a uh, that's a um, paid one. It's just ten dollars to join. It's not awful expensive. And then, hold on, doesn't help that they're all in the sketchbook. This one, my next free one. So every first and third Saturday paint night are free. The second and fourth are $10. And of course this one. So this is January. I do not have my February calendar yet. I'm working on it. So my winners, do let me know what you want to paint. Everybody, thank you, thank you so much for participating. This was so much fun. I would love, love, love to see your pictures. If you would like to maybe uh, send them to me or you can email them or you can just put them in comments or whatever, just please, please like show me what, what you've painted. I would love, love, love to see to see your work. And uh, Cindy says, enjoyed this session. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sharon says, thank you. Nima says, thank you so much. It was so much fun. I am so glad you guys enjoyed it. So much fun. Thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you alive on some other live. Okay, bye-bye.